stars, leave us bro when the stars run the vent for cars are home. Today, I am honored to shoot one of the videos that if you guys are subscribed to the channel, you guys know is by far one of my favorite videos. In this video, we'll be going over some of my summer pickups. Now, two of the main items are from Farfetch. I will talk more about that later on. I will leave a link to some of the items that I discussed in the description down below, along with the link to Farfetch, as well as my discount code, which is STAR10. But I will be showing off these two key items, and then after that, I'll be showing off some recent streetwear pickups as well. And if you guys have not seen my videos, and you are wondering why I'm currently risking my life with this ladder. It's because I gotta water my little chitlins. It's the start of a new day, and before we go over some of these recent pickups, I gotta go hit the Goodwill. And of course, I'm late as per usual. Hopefully, I did not miss the second rotation. Wait, what's this? I didn't miss either rotation. This whole row's clear. San Jose, Sharks, Nutmeg Tag, Single Stitch. Being that we had to wait for that first row, I'm probably gonna hit the second row. After waiting 30 minutes, that's a big never nope. mind because they're not gonna have the second rotation out by break. Appreciate it, have a good day. Now there are two main pieces that I wanna discuss. Well, I guess these as well. In fact, one of these pieces is probably one of my favorite pieces in my entire collection of clothing. But the first brand that we are going to discuss is Capital. I purchased a couple pieces from this brand in the past. I purchased this in like 2020. I got this in the last Farfetch video, which if you guys did not watch, I'll leave that somewhere on the i card. On the front, it's kind of just a basic crew neck, and then on the back, you have this patchwork, a mix of different fabrics, blue paisley fabrics, some blue floral fabrics. All of these are stitched in, and then it features a zigzag stitch going diagonally crisscross throughout the entire back. And I did size up on this piece because I kind of wanted a baggier, more like cozy fit. So those of you guys that do not know, Capital is a Japanese brand. It is a lot harder to get here in America and there really aren't a whole lot of online retailers that even carry Capital. Farfetch is one of the few places where you can actually get cool stuff from Capital online. And one of the primary reasons of that, I've talked about this in the past, but Farfetch is kind of a unique business model where essentially it's an online platform that carries a bunch of stuff from local boutiques around the world. I've gotten stuff from Rome, Spain, London, New York. That's really one of the reasons why Farfetch is able to offer a wider selection than any other online retailer. They have over 3,000 brands. They have everything from high end to streetwear, which you guys know I love my streetwear. They have designer shoes, they have heels, they have boots, they have sneakers. I mean, they even own stadium goods. A lot of times when you order hyped sneakers from there, you can actually buy with some confidence knowing that it's authentic because it's actually coming from stadium goods. To be able to get sponsored by Farfetch is still one of like the biggest honors or like one of my personal favorite accomplishments that I've gotten from this channel. It's actually insane because I used to do a lot of window shopping on Farfetch, so it's really cool. That being said, if you wanna do some window shopping yourself, there will be a link to Farfetch and the items that I show you guys in this video down in the description. And for those of you guys that wanna step in past the window and do some shopping, you guys can also use my discount code, which will be in the description down below. That discount code is STAR10, S-T-A-R-R-1-0. The rules and regulations to that discount code will be in the description down below as well. So definitely check the description and while you're down there, if for whatever reason you have not smashed the like button, show some love in the comments, and subscribe and turn on post notifications, then change that. <laughs> Anyways, Capital is a brand that is primarily known for their denim, but one thing that I like about Capital, I feel like Capital has kind of something for everyone. This is completely different than some of these pieces right here, but even like the pants that I have from Capital, I took an Instagram picture a while ago showing off these really cool Capital pants. Like those are completely different than any of these pieces, and even these pieces are all kind of different from each other. It seems like almost everything they do, they execute really well. Now, like I said, I did size up with this. When it comes to sizing, a lot of times when you're shopping on Farfetch, they will have a model with the model's measurements and the size they are wearing. So it's really easy to make sure you get the right size. I cannot stand when websites do not give me that information because I am 5'8 when it's sunny outside and it's only sunny about two and a half months out of the year. It's also why I'm showing off jackets in the middle of summer. <laughs> but yeah, it's definitely crucial for me to have measurements and sizes so I can reference what size I get so I can get the intended fit that I want. Anyways, getting on to the all-time grail. And it is by the brand 
ready-made. I know this may look like a North Face jacket. If you guys are familiar, this is obviously styled after the North Face Denali jacket, which is an iconic North Face jacket. A lot of the North Face jackets are named after mountains or mountain ranges. So you have the Denali, the Nupsi, the Baltoro, the Himalayan. You can obviously see ready-made flipped the North Face logo. So instead of reading the North Face, it reads the ready-made. You have this little patch right here, which kind of looks like the Rothko R. Essentially the idea behind a lot of ready-made stuff is taking these old vintage fabrics and upcycling them, reworking these fabrics that are kind of historically known for destruction, which is why he uses a lot of military fabrics. He also uses a lot of paisley fabrics as well, and then reworking them into something more positive, like clothing. He does have like a ready-made puffer coat that is kind of styled similarly to a Nupsy jacket. Obviously, ready-made has seen a little bit more popularity over the last couple years. We've seen people like Travis Scott and Jay-Z wear them. They've had pretty high-profile collaborations like with Nike. But the thing that I like about ready-made is the fact that it's kind of taking this trend of upcycling that we've seen get even more popular over the last three to five years. It doesn't look DIY. It looks like an actual piece that you would buy off the rack, yet it is still upcycling these old vintage fabrics and reworking them into something new and more modern. You can also tell that when they make these pieces, they do a really good job of referencing the actual vintage garments because even this Denali is a lot more similar to vintage Denali jackets as opposed to newer Denali jackets. You have like the little armpit zipper right here. But my understanding is ready-made is almost impossible to get whether you are in America or even in Japan. For example, from what I understand with Capital, that is a brand that is harder to get here in America America, but actually pretty accessible in Japan. And ready-made is not like that at all. Supposedly these pieces are extremely hard to get and extremely expensive even overseas. I do know that the creator of ready-made collaborated with another designer to create another brand that I believe is supposed to be more accessible, which is called St. Michael. It's St. M X X X X X X. Yeah, six X's. This is one brand that I definitely want to try out in the near future. When you look at the details, you can definitely tell that when they design these pieces, they are clearly referencing these vintage pieces and they're doing a really good job. If you don't like wearing used clothes for whatever reason, but you like that vintage look, this would be a good alternative because they actually do a good job of making these pieces look vintage. In fact, I have one of the original pieces that are referenced. There is one that is a collaboration with Hajime Soriyama. It is a clear reference to this 2001 tour tee, an Aerosmith tour tee. It definitely referenced some super sick vintage pieces. I'll try to remember to put a link to St. Michael in the description down below along with the link to all the other items that I showed off. But I don't want to just focus on some expensive pieces because I know that not everyone can afford some of these pieces like this jacket right here. And for that reason, I want to go over some streetwear pickups. However, before we do that, I want to use this piece and these shoes that we will go over in just a moment for what I believe their intended purpose is. And that is to go to the mountains. size two for the ready-made jacket and a size three for the capital sweater. Another little pickup that I got from Farfetch were a pair of Solomons that is a collaboration with Eleven by Boris. Bomba Fives. I don't know if I already showed these off, but I picked up these gray ones. And the reason I got these gray ones was because I felt like I could wear it with a lot of different colors, but I wanted a more earth tone colorway, which is why I got these brown ones. I do have a pair of the boots that I showed off a long time ago that I got at Farfetch, and they are the high top blue like hiking boots, and I actually got those for winter hikes. But as you guys saw, I wore these up to the mountains. These are pretty decent when it comes to hiking. They have a nice tread. In terms of cushioning, I would prefer Hoka One Ones when I'm hiking. That being said, it doesn't seem like most people that actually wear these even use them for any technical thing like running or hiking or 
really anything else. I get it, they look cool. But I still want to test them out. I want to see how the treads do and how they hold up. And uh, yeah, they hold up pretty well. I did go with the UK 8.5, which is a US 9. I'm a nine in Jordans and a nine and a half in SBs. I kind of wish I would have went up half a size with these, but it's weird because I got the same size with this pair and for some reason, these fit perfect, but these seem to be a little bit small. Maybe just because I was hiking, I'm not quite sure. Now, like I said, I want to go over some streetwear pieces as well. You guys know that's my roots. You guys may have seen in the series where I turned one penny to $5,000. I went to a flea market. I'll leave that episode somewhere on the iCard as well. And I was wearing this. Now, a lot of people were hating on me because they were saying I was wearing a fishnet tank top. Obviously, this is not like a regular thin fishnet. It's actually a knitted material. It's like a loose knit material that happens to have these holes that kind of add some breathability and comfort. I will say I would prefer if this was like a more faded black color, kind of like the sweater that I bought. This is like a pigment dye, so you can see it has more of a fade to it. But once again, that same kind of loose knit weave throughout. And then because even though it only gets hot two and a half months out of the year, I do not like being hot when the sun is outside. I got another one of those tank tops as well, except this time I went with the olive colorway. I have not worn this one yet. I'm kind of curious to see if maybe uh, the public reception of this one is a little bit better. Maybe it seems less BDSM-esque if I wear a more earth tone olive colorway. I've seen a couple other brands do something similar. I think Emilio Dor actually recently just did some like knitted style tank tops just like that as well. And then I have another pickup from Stussy. This is a little bit older of a pickup. In fact, I actually got these when I was going down to Cape Kowanda probably like two months ago. I recorded a little video kind of documenting that trip. It was actually in a trip to the thrift where I just featured some footage. But on my way to Cape Kowanda, I saw Stussy announce the release for this pant and I just needed these. These things are are gorgeous. You have a little Stussy S right here, some other little floral embroideries throughout the pant. Then you have these two big like paisley patterns. It's not really a pattern because it's just like the actual paisley, whatever, <laughs> embroidered into the actual pant. You see another little floral embroidery on the uh, right buttocks cheek. And then you see these little checkerboard embroideries inside the pocket. Now, one thing I will say, these look really cool, but if you go up close, you'll see it's actually all woven. You're still probably like, well, okay, like, who cares? That looks sick. I mean, that's like quality right there. That's insane thread counts. However, I can't help but think that putting this in the pocket where I will be putting stuff and inserting my hand into is going to lead to me like snagging on this material and it kind of coming loose over time. I don't know, either way, super cool pants. I love the fit of these as well. The fit of these things are amazing. Stussy is yet another brand carried by Farfetch and I wanted to show these off because I think that sometimes when people see Farfetch, they see it as strictly a luxury goods retail platform. And don't get me wrong, I would say that's probably the vast majority of their site, but they do have a lot of cool things. And because they source a lot of their product from local boutiques, sometimes they actually put me onto brands. Like when I'm just surfing through their list of over 3,000 brands, uh, there have been times where I come across a brand that I didn't even know about. But yeah, man, I'm I'm telling you, don't sleep on Farfetch. They got a lot of cool stuff on there, so check that out. I'll try to find links to all the items that I showed off in this video and put those in the description down below. I'll also try to put some links to uh, some Amiri hats that they had. I was wearing this in the video when I went up to the mountains. I also got this from Farfetch. These are the best fitting hats in the world. If you can't afford them, I definitely recommend it because these Amiri hats literally fit your head so freaking amazing. They're like my favorite hats in my collection. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate it from the top and bottom of my heart. I also wanna say thank you guys for all the support on the last series of turning one penny into $5,000. I did decide to actually carry the idea of keeping track of expenditures into my trips to the thrift. I'm hoping to drop another trip to the thrift in like two weeks, and I'm hoping to do a vintage pickup video next week. And hopefully, very soon, I can start showing you guys what I plan on using that 5,000 for. But thank you guys so much for rocking with me. I do appreciate it. Of course, if for whatever reason you have not smashed that like button down below, I would implore you to do just that. Hit that little thumbs up while you are down there. Show some love in the comments. Of course, subscribe and turn on post notifications if you have not already. Follow me on social media, The Star Life, T-H-E-S-T-A-R-L-I-F-E. -E. As you guys saw, I did pick up this earlier as well. So while you are on Instagrams following my main page, you might as well follow the thrift page if you want a chance to get this and any other vintage goods. Thrift Row, that's T-H-R-I-F-T-R-O-W. Yeah, I gotta stop talking. It's getting hot in here, so I'm gonna turn my fan on and I'll see you guys later. All right, as always, keep it the Star Life.
Peace. Star like Chris say shooting on Mets. God, these stars been ran through. God damn it, like back. And my brother is that guy. Let me take the All right, guys, say we love Abby. I love you, Abby. Love you, Abby. Abby. I love you. We do love Abby. Who is that? Don't worry about it.